Hello there, my name is Anil Mustafa and today in this video, we'll be talking about something really interesting. Okay, so how many of you guys have ever had a problem in your project consisting Arduino when Arduino cannot do something, some core work like processing? For example, if you are building an obstacle avoiding car using a camera instead of an ultrasonic sensor, Arduino cannot process the image, we all know that. So there is absolutely no way making the project using Arduino language, using this Arduino IDE. What can you do though is process the image in a programming language such as C++, Java or Python and create some messages like turn left, turn right, stop, go straight and so on and pass them to the Arduino through serial port. It may seem difficult but today I'm going to show you and introduce you to the serial port library. I will show you how easy it is to send and receive information to and from your Arduino via serial port. So let's get started with it. Okay so first things first, you go to my github page and open this project connect and use arduino wire cpp software made in any ide you can clone or download this repository but i would suggest you not do that uh you just follow this tutorial and code by your own hands uh, this is a better way of learning uh, code okay so click arduino.pc and click this wheel port.cpp You know what the better way of doing is that you say open this link in a new tab and open this serial port dot h in a new tab now we have all these things available right now um, what you can do is now you need to go to your uh, visual studio page and uh, what you can do is open and make a new project like this and I'm gonna just remove this main.cpp because I'm gonna do it with you guys. Uh, now what you can do is create, right click on this header file, add and a new a new item, and name this new item as uh, serial port dot h. Nice. And add this. And uh, in this file you're gonna add the serial port as it is in this thing so you're gonna go ahead and add this serial port dot h over here uh, copy this copy this thing and add this to your project and paste it in right here so that is fine now you're gonna go ahead and right click in the source files and add a new item and name it and name this thing as uh, serial port dot cpp and add this thing as well now we are gonna add the serial port a uh, serial port uh, code over here i'm gonna go to github and uh, and copy this code till here okay so i'm gonna copy this code and paste it in my project right here now everything is fine so you will have no errors uh, displaying over here. Now you need to work with these two files. These are the two main files that are gonna uh, handle the whole thing. Now we are gonna use this in our own custom made main function. So you're gonna go ahead and make a main.cpp file and add this and include some libraries. Include uh, your stream. Uh, using name space std we are not using some std colons so yeah and include uh, a string because we need to work with the string as well so you include a string you can see this uh, you need to include the std lib std lib fine and now the last thing you need to include is uh, is the serial port library as well now everything is fine so you will make a new function like integer main and now like this return zero and voila that's it that is done so your whole code will appear over here now a few things you need to understand before we can do the serial communication is that we do need a, a port name now we will name it port and the port name you will enter the port name like this 
four times the backslashes dot two times backslashes com three. My computer has com three. If your computer has com twenty or any other com, you just can replace this. But the backslashes that I put over here are necessary. Now uh, these this is a globally declared uh, variable. We need to declare it globally. Now there is one more thing you need to declare output because this is where your Arduino can send your output to. This must have the max length, max data length. So do this. Uh, L E N G T H. Okay, that is cool. Now the max data length is of uh, 255, and where you can find this, go to the, your serial port dot H, and this is where your max data length is. So it is defined in the header file. You just have included this header file over there, so you can use that. Now we need one more thing as well. The input inputting the incoming data we can see the incoming uh, and it should have the same max data length max data l e l e n g d h okay so that is good right now now we're gonna go to the integer main function and we're gonna check we're gonna make one uh, uh, an object known as arduino and we are gonna send the send a port name because it's saying the port name over here so we're gonna send the port name over it. port port yeah it's port basically so it's fine now we made an object now first job is to check if the Arduino via the serial communication is connected if the connection is established or not so for doing that you say if uh, the Arduino dot is connected you can see this here is connected if the Arduino is connected, then display C out that connection this connection is established. That's okay, that's fine. Else display the error. Uh, because otherwise your port name is wrong. So error in port name. Error in port. Error in port name. Okay nice now all the errors are gone now, the other thing you need to do is you say that okay I know my Arduino is connected so while my Arduino is connected I'm gonna do this job so you say that while the Arduino dot is connected I'm gonna send and receive the messages that I want simple statement I mean this is straightforward oh, why there are two dots just a single dot okay while the Arduino is connected I'm gonna get the input this and send that information to the Arduino and get the response from the Arduino and place the response in this output char array now you need a string which can take your data from uh, from your or let's just say command uh, from your PC to the Arduino now you need this thing so first you say that okay see, I'm gonna see in this command after me make a string it is where we'll store commands for serial port specifically for Arduino but there is a problem well that problem is Arduino doesn't know where the command ends so we need to tell the Arduino that this is where you need to stop listening to a command to achieve that we'll add a corrector in the end of the string which indicates the end of that command this character is known as delimiter so what we do is that we will make a character array of size of a uh, string size plus one and we'll store a delimiter in the second last index of the character array now to do that we need to understand what a dynamic memory allocation is now we'll dynamic, uh, dynamically allocate a memory for character array. A dynamic memory allocation is the is a user defined memory for a character array. So in order to achieve that, you do this uh, type of coding, making a character array of data of a string size plus one. Now uh, we will copy the string of command into this character array. To do that, we will use a copy function. In the copy function, we will uh, store the whole string from beginning to the end into the character array. To achieve that, 
you are supposed to you are to write this uh thing with this code basically come on man what's going on with my typing okay so we have done that now we will place the delimiter in the second last index of the character array this is because the last index of the character array is an null pointer some basic character array things uh, so we'll place uh, the last delimiter in the second last index of the character array and the second last index of the character array is the same as the string dot size so we're going to do that uh, we'll add a delimiter most commonly a delimiter is a black backslash n now you need to write this information so to write this information Arduino dot uh, write serial port and as soon as you place the bracket it says the buffer now your buffer is the char array which is the information you need to send and the unsigned is this max data l-e-n-g-e-t-h okay so that is code now I send the information to the serial port of the Arduino now you have to get the response of the Arduino over to the message that we just have sent to the Arduino to get the response you can say that okay Arduino dot read the serial port and read the serial port into the output char array so output max data length l e n g t h now uh, place this information and display this information out to the uh, out on the screen output and you need to delete the dynamic memory allocated allocated memory for the char array so to delete this you say the char array and that's all you need to do now we're gonna go to the android uh, arduino ide and and we're gonna see what we can do over to the arduino ide so i have opened up my arduino ide and this is the whole layout we're gonna work with uh first job first we need to add in which led we are gonna work this is a pin led pin so we are just working on the onboard led of the arduino so let's just do with it the onboard led pin is pin number 13 and we and this is how we declare it globally now the other thing you need to do is because you're working with the serial communication of the arduino we need to write serial dot begin on a 96 uh, 100 baud rate and your pin mod of your led of pin 13 is actually oh my led pin is for the output so nice it is done now we're gonna go to this loop and in the loop we are first gonna check if the serial is available or not so available and we're gonna say if this is available then do the job otherwise you don't do it if the serial is available then what you're gonna do is um, say you make a string and you say that the it is info and in this and you need to derive it'll read the info uh, from serial dot read oh my god read the string until the delimiter is found which you placed it right over here and this delimiter it will read the string until this delimiter is found so it is it is what we need actually now we're gonna check if the info is equal info dot equals it equals the on if it equals on then what you're gonna do is now if the LED is turned on we need to turn this on if the sorry if the command is on then we need to turn that led on so to do that digital write led pin and turn that into high right 
now else if else if if the command is the command equals off if the command equals off then the digital right the LED pin to low okay now because we are getting a response of the Arduino we need to send the some information like the LED is on to the console screen as well so what we're gonna do is we just write this serial dot uh, write because now uh, you say the serial dot print line that's the most probably the best statement I can give you right now so you just say the LED is on now that is awesome similarly you say the serial dot print line and you say that the LED is off now oh, a software should work okay so everything is fine I'm gonna plug my Arduino and uh, into my PC and I'm gonna see if this software is working or not so I'm gonna send this sketch over to the Arduino okay alright I'm gonna send this sketch to the Arduino sending yeah it's successful okay so it's successful the Arduino already works I'm gonna go to my software that I designed in design here and I'm gonna say now we're gonna run this project to do this you say control F5 now it is built the connection is established wow you send the command on LED is on off LED is off that is fine now um, I'm gonna uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up my camera and I'm gonna tell you what exactly is going on over the Arduino and uh, place that video somehow over to this screen and you're gonna see side by side what's what how I command and what's going on so now you can see the Arduino I'm gonna restart this software by control F5 and uh, as soon as the connection is established you can see the Arduino is going mad if I use this word correctly okay so yeah connection is established now you can see the onboard LED will turn on and off as soon as I command right here so I turn it on you see the LED on pin number 13 is turned on if I say off the LED is off and the LED is turned off now you can plug play with this all day long I love this pretty sweet right I mean you just have made the software from your C++ and connected that to your Arduino now you there is absolutely no worries that you have to face when you need to do some image processing you can just simply do the processing in the C++ Python and Java language and uh, send the signals back to the Arduino to and perform some actions and take some actions like move the motor to the right or turn left or whatever you want to do with this Arduino so Thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like it and if you did uh please give me a like subscribe to this channel and share this video